North now to Mount Isa, the state leader of Catter Australia Party, Robbie Catter, is with me. While One Nation's vote has fallen away, Robbie Catter, your, your party vote is holding up, if not improving. Yeah, well, I, I hope it was. I mean, we put in a, a real effort in there in uh, this campaign and, and we uh, probably saw, uh, you know, One Nation not as active in the field they normally would, so under no illusions there. You know, they're a powerful force in politics usually. But uh, we, we thought we ran a really strong campaign. But you're up against, you know, some pretty powerful resources with uh, those major parties. And, uh, you know, they can put some messaging out. Uh, whether it's, you know, accurate or true or not, uh, they can push messaging. And it's very hard for minor party to work against that. And, um, you know, despite that, I think we work to our strengths. And in the areas, you know, particularly those rural and region areas, where, where you know, we're still a very strong shot in places like Cook. Uh, we're a bit of a shot still in places like Thurringar and Burdekin. So... Uh, watch this space. OK, so you came in with three. You definitely... Well, it looks like you've retained three. That'd be... That's a good starting point. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, you know... Um, I don't mean to brag, but we've thought of... I, I topped the state in the last uh, election and um, and uh, Shane Canute was in the top ten and Nick demeto has gone from 20% to 40% primary vote. So... I think that speaks pretty well of the job we do uh, once we do get elected. And uh, I think, you know, on this trajectory, we can only increase and expand our vote. Um, but, you know, resources are a limitation uh, this day and age. And, um, you know, I think if anyone, any observers would have seen in the last parliament where, um, you know, the last two parliaments, actually, I know I'll say the last three parliaments, they've made change legislation to constrain fundraising activities and the, and the performance of minor parties. I've had my staff taken away from me twice um, in Parliament, so um, Robbie, it, Robbie, it's pretty hard and uh, I think we've done a pretty handy job. Robbie, Alan Jones here. I mean, you just mentioned that word resources, uh, one vote, one value and all that stuff we go on about. Your electorate of Tregear is greater than the combined size, am I right, of Victoria and Tasmania? Um, well, it, it, sh it shifted, and I, I, but that would be about right, um, Alan. That was certainly right um, previously. And, uh, you know, they're, they're massive, and because there's population decline, uh, it's just about through, it projected through just about every town in my electorate. Uh, I can expect my electorate to continue to expand, and despite going and uh, paying myself to get a, a pilot's licence, I still find it very hard to get around, and then very hard for me to compete on a level playing field with the major the parties who have direct access to the media. There's not one TV camera in my yeah. electorate. So, so um, no, you so know, it's how, difficult, but yeah. I think we've done a commendable job. The, uh, you did. You've done a brilliant job. Not commendable. I mean, talking about equal votes. So the bloke in Brisbane can walk down the road to talk to his member. What, you've got to get into a helicopter or something? Politicians don't do helicopters anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like... <laughs> how is Bromman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but, Alan, it is tricky. I mean... I try. Everyone thinks it's a sense of parochialism that you say we need to, you know, policy that's directed more to regional and rural areas. But really, if I would now, I'd like to think I'd have exactly the same attitude if I lived in Brisbane, because you you simply need to activate some of these resources in, in some of these areas where there are no votes. And uh, someone better do the the math on this, because you can't keep ignoring uh, these opportunities, uh, our opportunities for growth. And uh, you keep, you know, you, do, you want to talk about Olympic Games and another Cross River Rail, $12 billion, uh, but you don't build any more dams and uh, you don't look after your mining industry. I've had to drag the government kicking and screaming to build a transmission line out here to stop the world's highest energy prices. You know, if I've got to continue to do that stuff, guess what, guys? You're not going to have enough money to pay for these universities, hospitals and schools that you enjoy in the city. So, you know, if, if we want to move together as a, a state, for goodness sakes, please reconsider, uh, you know, consider how you're voting for Greens Good because um, you, you can run the, happy, the economy on happy on thoughts you. or you can run it on, um, on those industries that well provide done. for you and help pay the bills. Well Rob, done. Robbie Catter, before you go, let me ask you, if uh, the Palaszczuk Labor Party does fall short, it doesn't look like they will, but if they did need in some minority support, supply and confidence, would you give that to the Labor government? Yeah. Oh, look, even if that's the only opportunity, they would have to uh, grossly, you know, reconsider their uh, position on some fundamental issues. Uh, they, you know, they took a baseball bat to regional industries in the last parliament. Uh, you know, they, we, ha we moderated some of their policy in the hung parliament. Uh, we were able to do that. This parliament, they came forth with more radical agenda and, uh, and, and 
no, make no mistake at all. Uh, you know, they took a baseball bat to some of our industries, reef regulation, vegetation management, uh, sustainable ports bill, and uh, no more ports to be built in Queensland. They can't continue to do this and, and pander well, to what about, you know, Robbie, progressives Robbie, in the city native, and expect that you're going to have performance. Native, native vegetation laws. I mean, are we going to see them still in place for time immemorial? I mean, how the hell does the farmer manage with the native well, vegetation laws as they exist? Eh? Well, my, my view is the Greens have no finish line on this stuff. It's a continual encroachment and, uh, you know, they're, they're, it seems to be they will just, you know, it's a, it's a never-ending feat for them that they will continue to uh, push the agenda on those things just to win votes. So, and we're the whipping boys up here. Uh, and despite, um, you know, uh, I think the average GDP in my electorate was 180,000 per person compared to Brisbane, 60,000 per person. But despite that, um, you know, we'll, put, we'll keep performing and working hard out here, but you've got to give us a hand, guys. And, and um, you know, if you want the Greens in partnership with Labor, well, you know, we're not going to be able to pr provide for you um, with our great industries up here. Uh, it makes it very, very difficult. So, uh, yeah, look, we're hoping we can still maintain some sort of control there, but it's not look looking good for us at the moment. Robbie Catter, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your re-election.